Living in this tech-savvy world that we're now in can be very difficult when trying to focus. You have all of these different developers, these huge companies who are fighting against each other for your attention. Now, not only does this stop us from being productive human beings, but it also has been taking a huge toll on our mental health. Now, with that being said, Apple has now tried to create a solution for all of these different distractions by creating these things called focus. Focus modes. Welcome to the video. Social Vibes here to help all you content creators grow in your skill sets. If this is your first time on this channel, then I want to introduce myself. My name is Joe Klein and I'm super excited that you're watching this video today. Now today's video is very much going to be an extreme beginner's guide. So feel free to use these chapters below to skip around. Now I've had the chance to use the iOS 15 beta for about a month and a half now. Now my favorite feature by far has been the focus mode setting that now comes on iOS 15. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide to show you guys how to set up those focus modes, but then I'm also going to be showing you my personal focus modes and why I like them so much. All right, guys, so getting started on our phone, we first want to go to the drop-down menu by sliding down from the top right corner and then clicking focus. From there, you will see a few different modes. And as you can see, I have already set up a few of my favorite modes. You can manually adjust these modes as they're already preset. And I'll be showing you exactly how to do that later on in this video. Now to set up your own focus mode, you simply hit the plus icon at the bottom of the screen and it brings up this start screen. From there again, you see more presets that Apple has developed for you to use. You can choose from any of these if they fit your need or you can go make a custom one that fits your personality a little bit better. And that's pretty much it. That's a basic overview of the focus modes and how you can get to them and how you can set them up. Now from here, we're gonna be going into how you can optimize these different focus modes so that you can get the most out of this setting. So the one that we're gonna be using as an example today is our personal setting. Now keep in mind that everything that I'm about to say from here on out will work on each and every one of these different focus modes. So first we're gonna start on the home screen and we're gonna slide over until we see the app library. Then from there, drag and drop whatever apps you use the most during your personal time to a new blank home screen. Now continue to drop as many as you want. And for me, I also like to customize this with widgets. And the way that you can do that is by hitting the plus icon at the top and then you can keep scrolling until you find one you like. Now for me today, I'm gonna to be using an Apple TV widget because I do like to see whatever is new on there so that I can just click it and start watching content. So I add that widget at the top just like that. And then I can add in all of my different apps that I like to use. Now that you have that done, tap and hold on any blank part of the screen until you see the icons start to wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now from there, tap on the dots at the bottom of the screen right above the docking station. From there, uncheck the home screen that you just made. For me, since I've already created my personal home screen, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one for now. Now once you've done that, go right back into your focus modes and go over to personal and then hit those three dots on the side and from there click the setting button. Now once you're here click that home screen icon and then from there you see this thing called custom pages. If you don't have that turned on go ahead and turn that on and then hit edit pages and then from there you simply check the screen that you just created hit done and now you're finished so now you're done optimizing your home screen so if you turn on your personal mode and you go to your home screen you can now see you only get these set of icons on your screen now. Now in theory, this is supposed to help you kind of escape from the world so that you can enjoy your relaxed, distraction-free personal time on your smartphone with your favorite applications. Now we're gonna be taking this a step further to help you completely be distraction-free as you're on your phone. So back over in the focus mode, in the personal setting, remember you hit those three dots right there and you hit setting you can now turn on a button that will hide all the notifications on your home screen so that you don't see those and are distracted by wanting to click them. So to do this, you go to home screen and then you hit hide notification badges. For an example, I'm gonna turn it off and go back to my home screen and you can see all these notification badges. 
So if I go right back over into my focus mode really quickly. So now if I go back over into my focus mode and turn on hot notification badges, you can now see that they're gone. So the last thing that I like to do to really optimize these focus modes and make them as efficient as possible is go into each and every focus mode and set up who can communicate to me and what applications are allowed to communicate to me whenever I'm in that specific mode. So to do that, you go to the same setting and you have your people who can communicate with you and then you have your applications that can communicate with you as well. So now that you guys know how to set up the focus modes and how to optimize them, I'm now going to be showing you guys a few of my favorite ones. So I just launched my new merch on my website and if you guys are interested in any of the Social Vibes merch or any type of coffee content then please go over and check out the website and consider purchasing some merch to support this channel. Now if you found this video valuable please consider hitting that subscribe button and like this video for more videos like this one. With that being said I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.